Hello, all, it's me, Warden's Fire. I still have a bit of a voice issue, as you can hear right now. I was asked today by Awaken Sky, a longtime subscriber, what my viewpoints are about reincarnation. Well, I believe that the Bible is 100% accurate, never been debunked, doesn't have any mistakes in it, and that it is written by the Almighty through the hands of man. And in this book it says in John 3.13 that no man has ever ascended to heaven and come back down to earth except for Jesus Christ. So I have to say that reincarnation, as much as the Buddhists believe in it, is just a fairy tale. And I know you also, you pretty much base your whole entire uh, religion on it. And the same thing with the cows and the ancient souls inside the cows and the sh Shiva. And uh, I think, I can't think of the elephant's name, it's... Uh, Something with a new in it. Um, his new, I believe. If I have that wrong, my apologies. But they are just, um, well, they could have been Nephilim back in the day. But I do not believe that they have anything to do with the genuine religion out there. And I know a lot of people say that Jesus Christ was a Buddhist. That's just a lot of nonsense. It's not true. In his time, there was a big college in India where the highest students used to go. And they would get their studies done. And there is a big disappearance time in Jesus' life that he could have been there. We don't know for sure. But he was smart, he was educated, and he was also a high priest in the temple. People used to come to him for judgment and advice. Jesus rose from the dead after three days of being dead. And he also raised Lazarus. So Jesus Christ has the power to raise from the dead. But I do not believe that anybody can raise from the dead without him. You know, the Bible also speaks about the day that Jesus comes back and raises everybody from the dead. All the Christians will come back from the dead and have new bodies. So there is your reincarnation. But it does not happen on the individual level. It happens at one time when Jesus summons us all back from the dead. So there is a reincarnation, but not in the way that the Buddhists see it or that the Hindus see it. The Chinese, for example, they believe in the yin and yang. This is, a, in, this is the balance between this world and the spirit world. And they tap into the spirit world without realizing that the spirits they're using are evil and satanic. And they use them during their mantras and during this, their um, prayer time that they have. But also when they meditate... During these moments, they're actually talking to spirits from the other side, and they consider them to be their ancestors. There's a lot of mistakes in other religions. I mean, even one of the top biggest religions, you know, Islam, there's a lot of mistakes in there. I mean, all, all of the history, religions have taken pieces and, and cherry-picked what they wanted to believe. And I don't believe that Buddhism is any different. But I believe that the New Testament and Jesus Christ's testimony is the truth, the light, and the way, for he is the word. I want to take this time to show you here how the Bible Hub is showing you the different versions of the Bible. Now I want you to pay attention. I want to show you why the world stopped believing in God. God said very clearly that he would kill anyone who ever altered his word. So people decided to make a whole different book. They didn't mess with the original, the King James, you know, all that stuff that's pretty original. I mean, there's only the Septuagint that's even better. But when you look at things like the New International Version, let me read it to you what it says about John 3.13. No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from the heaven, the Son of Man. Then it says in the New Living Translation, No one has ever gone to heaven and returned but the Son who has come down from heaven. English Standard Version, no one has ascended into heaven except he who has ascended from the heaven, the Son of Man. New American Standard Bible, no one has ascended into heaven but he who has ascended from heaven, the Son of Man. King James Bible says, and no man hath ascended up to heaven but he that come down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. So when you look, you see a whole bunch of things. Like, for example, it says in the first one, the New International Version, no one has ever gone up to heaven except for the one who came from heaven. That's saying that nobody's ever been to heaven. 
Okay, but then you read the English Standard Version that says no one has ascended into heaven except for he who has ascended from heaven. They're both saying right there in those versions that nobody's ever been to heaven. But then when you read the New Living Trans Version, it says no one has ever gone to heaven and returned. You have to be careful what Bible you read in this world because they are deliberately out there to make you stop believing. These people hope that you are not so educated in religion that you will go out and pick their Bible. For example, I happen to know that the NIV is pretty feministic, where they kind of praise women, and the women that should not be praised, and that events are turning more to the female, to the gynocentric part. Stay away from those Bibles. Get yourself a good King James Bible. Even though it's hard to understand, you could always go out and, and get an English standard if you have to, just to put on the side to understand what the words mean. You know, even back in the day, man, the Jews actually crucified Jesus because he came riding in the city on a donkey when they expected him to come riding in on a horse. There have always been translations problems throughout the history. But you have to be smart enough to know which one to pick. So stay away from anything that's New Age, like New Living, or uh, New American, or New International. Stay away from those. And go back to the old school King James. But the best one you could pick out is the Septuagint. That is the original Bible that Jesus would have read out of in Aramaic, which has been lately been translated into English. And I myself am waiting for one right now to come from eBay. I bought a really nice one for $50, and I'm really looking forward to have it. Because, for example, in the Septuagint, they speak about the serpent, you know, and Adam and Eve. But in, in, the, in the Septuagint, it's not really, a serpent can be translated to other things. There is, uh, it could also be translated into the bright one. But we know who the bright one is, that's Lucifer. And I'm not really sure how the story really goes, because there's a lot of translations. I mean, some of them say that Eve ate the apple. Some of them say that Satan actually had sex with Eve. There's a whole bunch of different translations. And I think that Hinduism... And Buddhism all stems more from the darker sides of religion than they do from the brighter sides. Because Buddhism is literally tapping into the alternate dimension here, the spirit realm. Look at the yin-yang symbol. It's a black symbol meaning the spirit realm. The white symbol means the human realm. And, and the line in between is the curtain that God talks about in the Bible, the shroud. That's the, the curtain that's between the two realities. And that one day he will lift that curtain and the two worlds will collide. But yin and yang is basically saying, you know, if you, if you put yourself into a trance long enough, if you meditate long enough, you can contact the spirit realm. And yet Christianity says, do not contact the spirit realm, it's very bad. Yoga is another great example of this, folks. You all think doing yoga makes you stronger and fitter. All you're doing is saying, okay, Satan, take over my body while I meditate for a while. Take over my mind. I'm opening myself up. I'm channeling myself open for your entities to come inside. You don't want that in your life. You don't need that in your life. You don't need that at all. And I know that sounds kind of harsh for somebody who's believed in Hinduism and Buddhism most of his life. But the truth is the truth. There is only one way to heaven. And that is through Jesus Christ. No way else. And the Bible makes it very clear. So I'm going to put it to you straight, as I do with every video. You guys know out there that I'm pretty, you know, just up in your face about it. I'm not very, uh, what do you call it? I don't wear the kid gloves. But you know what? Time is getting short. There's no time anymore for kid gloves. People need to start waking up to reality. You cannot live in a false reality and believe that you will ascend to heaven one day when you are living in a false reality when the real, the real reality, the one that requires you to get into heaven, the one that lets you get into heaven, has certain rules and certain bylaws. You cannot break the rules and expect to get into heaven. You cannot dislike the Father and expect to get into heaven. He who does not love the Father will not get into heaven. This is War Drums Fire. Sorry if I seem a bit rash about this Awakened Sky, I didn't mean to, I just wanted to bring it out there in a way that you would understand, and uh, you know, I'm just always pretty cold about everything, so, you all take care and have a good day, and I'll see you all later. Bye.